Today, we're going to dive into the future of connectivity and power, the future Adonis USB 4 cable and the MagCube 140 watt charger. How he's the future lineup really signals commitment to pushing the boundaries of what accessories can do, and these two are no exception. If you're tired of slow charging in data transfers, or you just want the latest and greatest tech, you're definitely in the right place. So let's take a look. Just a disclaimer as well, these two Aohi products were sent over from the company. As with all my reviews, the company is not seeing this video beforehand. And of course, I'm going to give you guys my honest thoughts to what I think about it. So let's hop in. First up, we have the Aohi The Future Adonis Cable. This isn't your average cable, we're talking some serious speed. With unidirectional data transfer rates up to a staggering 120 gigabits per second and bi-directional speeds hitting 80 gigabits per second. To put that into perspective, you could transfer a massive 10 gigabyte file in about a second. For content creators, video editors, or anyone dealing with large files, this kind of speed is a game changer. But the speed doesn't stop there. This cable is also compatible with the brand new Thunderbolt 5 standard, making it future-proof for the next wave of high-performance devices. Don't worry though, it's also backwards compatible, so it'll work with all your current gear too. Visually, the Adonis cable is no slouch either. It can support dual 8K displays at smooth 60Hz, dual 6K displays, or even three 4K displays at an ultra smooth 144Hz. If you're a creative professional or just love having multiple high resolution monitors, this cable has you covered. It even supports DisplayPort 2.1 for the latest display tech. And finally, let's talk power. The Adonis cable boasts an ultra-fast 240 watt power delivery 3.1 charging capability. That's enough to rapidly charge even power-hungry laptops. Now he claims it can charge a 16-inch MacBook Pro to 50% in just 30 minutes. This cable is clearly designed for those who need top tier performance and speed for all their devices. So let's move on to the Aohi MagCube 140W charger. What makes this charger special is the use of GAN Plus technology. Gallium nitride allows this charger to be incredibly small and light compared to traditional chargers, all while delivering a massive 140 watts of power. Supposedly, it's about 30% smaller than other chargers with similar output, and it has a folding plug. This makes it perfect for travel. While the MagCube is impressively compact for its power, it's worth noting that this charger might be slightly larger than some other alternatives, such as the popular Anker GAN Prime 150 watt charger. It's worth noting that the Anker GAN Prime, while compact, utilizes a matte plastic finish that can attract smudges and in some cases hasn't really held up well over extended use. The Anker charger though is still going strong, it's just the plastic that's not held up well. The Aohi with its distinct yellow color and textured plastic has held up well over the test of time. Despite its size, the charger is packed with ports. You get two USB-C ports with a standard USB-A port. What's really impressive is that both USB-C ports can deliver the full 140 watts of power. So you can charge essentially two high-powered devices like laptops at the same time. It also has intelligent power distribution to optimize charging for whatever you have plugged in. A cool feature of the MagCube is its three-stage charging indicator. It's a simple but effective way to show you what's going on. The MagCube has built-in protection against overcurrent, overvoltage, overheating, and short circuits. Compatibility is also excellent. It works pretty much with everything from phones to gaming handhelds. I haven't had any issues with charging some lower powered retro handhelds with this thing. It's pretty safe to use. So let's address the elephant in the room, pricing. Both the Aohi Adonis cable and the MagCube charger sit at the higher end of the pricing spectrum compared to many basic USB-C cables and chargers you can find. The Adonis cable with its cutting edge USB 4 2.0 technology and Thunderbolt 5 capabilities retails at $69.99 US dollars. However, it's currently on sale at the time of recording for $39.99. Plus, you can get an additional 10% off if you sign up with their newsletter. 
Similarly, the MagCube 140 watt charger is priced between 79 to 129, depending on where you buy it from and if it's bundled with the cable. You can bundle the US charger and the Adonis cable together for 119. Now it's true that you can find a cheaper USB-C cable or a charger out there. However, what you're paying for with Aohi is not just the ability to charge your devices or transfer data. You're investing in future-proof technology, exceptional speed, and the convenience of having high-performance accessories that are built to last. Every single Aohi product that I've used, all the way from their Starship battery bank to some cables, every single one of those is still functioning today. For professionals or enthusiasts who demand the best and just want to ensure compatibility with future devices, the premium price might well just be justified. So after spending some time with the Aohi, the future Adonis USB 4 cable, and the Aohi MagCube 140 watt charger, what's the verdict? Well, if you're looking for the absolute cutting edge in charging and connectivity, these two are definitely worth considering. The Adonis cable offers incredible speed and future-proofing with its Thunderbolt 5 compatibility and massive bandwidth. And the MagCube charger packs a ton of power into its remarkably small and portable design. While not being as small as the Anchor charger, I really do like the textured plastic and the yellow makes it very visible to find in your bag. These are definitely premium products and they come with a price tag to match. The Adonis cable is targeting those who need the fastest data transfers. The MagCube is perfect for those that need to charge multiple high power devices quickly, especially when traveling. Its performance and features along with potential differences in long term durability and finish make it a strong contender in the high power charging market. So that's my look at the Adonis USB 4 cable and the Aohi MagCube 140 watt charger. What do you think about the price and the design? Let me know in the comments below. If you found this review helpful, make sure to subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.